Hey guys, welcome. This is my how I made my base for the three flower displays that I made a couple of weeks ago. All the items that I used are from Poundland, so everything was a pound. I started off with two of the circle mirrors. You can see my filming setup that I have at the moment, which isn't fantastic, but it's working for now. So two of the circle mirrors. I used three of the silver candlesticks and I already attached the pearls before I filmed this. If you want to see how I attached the pearls, I did this in my second YouTube video on how I made the flower displays using the pearl garland from the wedding section in Poundland. I then used three packs of the diamond gems. Again, these are a pound and from the wedding section. They have holes in the bottom so you can put string or invisible thread, which is what I used for doing this. I also used five packs of the pearl and silver embellishments that are from the craft section. I used a pack of the self-adhesive 6mm pearls and then I also used some white tack and some wooden skewers just for getting the mirrors in place as well as some tweezers, a glue gun and some scissors. So first of all we're going to attach the three candle holders to the bottom glass mirror. I'm going to use some white tack just to um, put the um, candlesticks into position. It's just so I know roughly where the centre is so I can figure out where I am going to be sticking the candlesticks. It's just to give an idea that once I remove the candlesticks from the mirror, I know where I'm going to be placing them back onto the mirror. So I checked to see where the back of the candlesticks are, the bit where the glue is for the pearl garland, and that will be going in the centre. I did this with all three candlesticks to make sure that they were all facing inwards. And then once I was happy with where the candlesticks are positioned, I just popped a bit of white tack at the back of each of them just so I knew where I was going to pop them back onto the glass when the glue was on the bottom to stick them into place. You could probably measure them and then mark on the glass with something that will come off um, so you know exactly where they are. I like the idea that they're not 100% um, accurate, it's more handmade and I just like that feel. In hindsight, what I did was I wasn't going to add gems to the bottom of the glass but once I'd finished I realised that it needed something else. If I had done this, if I'd have known if I'd have known this before I started filming, I probably would have done this before sticking the candlesticks onto the bottom of the glass. But um unfortunately at that time I didn't know I was gonna do that. So I've now got the white tack on the mirror where I'm gonna pop my candlesticks and I'm just going to put a generous amount of glue onto the bottom of the candlesticks and then pop it into place. It was actually really nerve-wracking trying to do this while filming because I knew that I only had one shot at doing this. Um, so yeah, it was a little bit nerve-wracking. I'm just checking to see that that was where I wanted it. And now I'm going to stick the other two into place.
I'm just turning it to make sure that the pearl's at the back where the glue is so it's in the middle. And then we pop the last one into place. And that's all three stuck. And this is what it looks like up to now. So I've got the pearl embellishments around the candlesticks. I've stuck them onto the base of the first circle mirror. And then the next part is to stick the, the top mirror on top. Now I did do this and I found that there was um, two of the candlesticks were shorter than one of them. So what I did was I cut two two pieces of cardboard and I noticed that the sellotape that I was using was exactly the same diameter of the candlesticks. So I just drew two circles of cardboard. You can see where I tried to glue the top on already because you can see the glue, but obviously I'm going to pull all that off in a bit. But yeah, just cut two I cut two pieces of cardboard out, put some hot glue on and then stuck them onto the two candlesticks that were a bit little bit shorter than the other one. Um, I mean, if you were going to do this, I would probably suggest in the shop, if you do buy the candlesticks and the mirror, placing the three candlesticks somewhere on the floor out of the way of everyone obviously and placing the mirror on top just to check that they're all the same height. I wasn't expecting them to be at any difference in height but unfortunately were they were but this this worked it was fine in the end. Um, I'm just glad that I had some spare cardboard lying around. So yeah I just put some glue on and stuck the cardboard on top and then put quite a generous amount of glue on top of the cardboard and the other candlestick and then placed the the last mirror on top with the mirror side facing up i'm just pulling off some of the glue that's one of the good things i like about glue guns it's so easy to remove the glue if you don't do it right or you know you end up going a little bit over the edge so I've just used a barbecue skewer at the back with some white tack to um, just so I know that the mirrors will be in line, the bottom one and the top one together. You could use anything really. And I just held it into place for a while until it was stuck. And that's the main part of the base done. So all that's left to do now is to decorate it. So these embellishments have little metal strips on the back for obviously putting through holes. Um, I you could cut them off with wire cutters I decided to just bend them into place with tweezers and for the diamond drops I used invisible thread I should have really used a different color so you could see what I was doing while I was filming this but you could use anything because you're not going to see it anyway once we stick the embellishments over them and cut the ends off anyway so I just put some invisible thread through the holes you can see I'm struggling to even see where it is. And then picked it up and I tied two knots in one knot and pulled it all the way down so the knot was right at the tip of the diamond tea drop. And then did the same again. Like so. Now I'm trying to film this from the side um, and what I did was I used some white tack to just pop on the paper that I'm protecting the desk with and then used it to rest the base that we've just made so that I could show you what it was like from the side. So 
what I decided to do was um, is to pop a little bit of glue on the edge of the mirror and hold the dime onto it where I want it to stay. Now when I film the rest of this after I show you show what I was planning on doing and how to, to start it off, I actually did this with the base flat on my knee with a cushion so it was easier to stick them on. Um, I just put it on the side just so that I could show you um, what I was doing on the video. So I just add a little bit of glue and placed the drop where I was happy that I wanted it. Held the strings in place and then added some more glue just to secure it. And then I got the embellishments. So this is what it looks like when you take out the card with the two pieces of metal sticking out the back. Like I said, you can cut them off if you want. Or what I did was I just used tweezers and bent them so that they were kind of flat in the back of the embellishment. And then I popped a large amount of glue on the back. Um, I normally have my glue gun set on high. I put it on low for this and it was still quite hot. So if you've got protective gloves, I would recommend using them um, because the metal does heat up really quickly. So just be careful. And then I placed it over the strings of the gem. And then I just cut off the leftover threads and that's the first one finished. So um, what I did was I carried on doing this all the way round the top of the base and in between each one I popped one of the self adhesive pearls. I did actually use the glue gun to stick them on though because the adhesive on the back of the pearls is ideal for like paper or card but for anything else it needs other glue so I just popped a little bit of glue from the glue gun onto the edge of the mirror and then just popped a pearl in place and then I carried on with this pattern all the way round the top of the base and I'll show you what it looks like when I finish so I was thinking that this was going to be finished and I put everything away and then I was like it needs something around the bottom so this was when I decided to pop the diamantes and unfortunately I don't have any footage of that but I just used the glue gun and worked my way around so I hope you liked it see you again